need to add a contributor or administrator to your Squarespace website, I'll show you how to do that today. So first you'll log into squarespace.com and then click on the website that you want to add a contributor to. So here I'm in a demo website and from here you'll go to settings and then permissions. Once you're inside permissions, you'll click invite contributor and you'll type in that person's name. I could spell my name correctly and their email address. And then you toggle on the specific permissions that they get. So if this person will be working on your website, for example, if it's a web designer, you'll want to toggle on administrator permissions for them. That means that they have access to the styles and the content and everything they need. There are other options here like content editor. They can only edit the content on the website so they can't make changes to overall style. The scheduling editor, so this gives them access just to the scheduling portion of your website. Store manager can manage orders. Um, they can get notifications from your store so when something is sold, they'll get an email if they have that turned on. Billing, so if someone else is taking care of billing in your company, you can add them here and they can um, pay for the Squarespace website and they'll get emails about renewals as well. Analytics, if you have someone just working on analytics for your website, you could toggle this on. Comment moderator, so if you have comments on your blog, the comment moderator can actually comment on those and they can edit other comments and also remove any if they look like spam. And then a trusted commenter, if someone's commenting on your blog posts a lot, then they can comment and they won't get moderated if you have that turned on your, on your blog. Really, administrator is the one that I use the most. So again, if you're working with a Squarespace designer, you'll want to choose administrator. Make sure that that's toggled on. You don't have to toggle on any of the other ones um, if you're working with somebody on your website. This gives them access to everything else on the site and they can do anything except transfer site ownership. So only the site owner can transfer ownership. So once that's done, you'll just click invite here. And I'm already a member, so I get a, uh, a notification here. But if you are adding someone new, so let's just change this to spam.com, um, and we click invite, then that email just got an invitation to join this website. And you can also copy this invitation link and send it to them directly so they don't have to wait for the email from Squarespace. So if you're on Zoom chatting, you can just grab this, copy it, and paste it into the Zoom chat. And then later, after that person is finished working on your website, you're going, you're going to want to remove them. So it's always good practice not to have additional logins available to your website just in case someone gets hacked. So from here, what you can do is go to these three dots. So you click on the person here on the left, Go to these three dots and you can cancel the invite. If they've already accepted the invite, you can actually remove them from the website here as well. And that's where you'll remove their permissions. So that is how you add a contributor to your website. I hope this was helpful and I wish you the best of luck with your site.